Two trains running is important for several reasons. It, the ritual inside of the play is just as meaningful and profound as it is in ones where it is more recognizable, say a Joe Turner or a uh, 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 Seven Guitars or something like that where, where the ritual is more obvious. This ritual is buried inside of the culture. It's inside of a diner. And when that ritual is exposed and given meaning and air, it surprises people. It surprises me once you, you get into it. And of course, that is the purpose of ritual, to reenact it time and again and pull out more and different meaning and have it go deeper into the psyche each time it's repeated. And so I've repeated the ritual of two trains a number of times as I've directed it, um, but I'm, I'm looking to enter into that, that process again and I'm sure we'll discover with a new group of people a number of things. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It's one of my favorite plays because it's so overlooked most of the time. Is typically only recognized by the people who participate in it. So you will see it, it going on and it will deepen the production, but the characters seem to, um, seem to almost live it rather than perform it. And it's one of the things I love about this play. Many times a play will stop and will have a ritual moment. These people in the enactment of their lives maintain this ritual and it deepens the cultural context of the play in a way that I find really refreshing. It isn't preachy. It's something that you discover and, and it's, it's, all, it's organic the way it, 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 it sort of appears for you. And uh, I, I think very satisfying. This, this community that, that Wilson has created is uh, the inside of Memphis Lee's Diner. And it is in the Hill District in Pittsburgh. And outside of that, if you were to go to the Hill District right now, you will see, it's very sketchy, you'll see a, a business and then outside of it, vacant lots. I was there a month ago and um, they were putting a new roof on August Wilson's old house. So I stopped and looked at the old house there in Bedford. And uh, there's going to be a restaurant that's going to go in there, and it's a historical place. But right next to it is a vacant lot with exposed bricks. And, and across the street is, is a dilapidated, falling-down building. And so that is all outside of this diner that is created in Memphis Lee's Diner. Outside of it, the, the community is being torn asunder. Yet inside of it, because in this little safe place, these people are allowed to, to interact and react with each other and maintain that sense of community, it has a power that, that, uh, uh, that is well, it's arresting and informative and, and necessary. People have to have a, a safe place to do these, these sorts of things. We think of churches in that way, sometimes movie theaters, perhaps live theater. <laughs> well, I've, I've played many of these roles in the Wilson canon, and I've produced and directed all of the plays. Um, uh, there is, there's a, um, an accumulation of knowledge and culture that is evident in these plays that both stretches and teaches anyone who engages the literature. It changes you. Um, these kinds of, of questions that these common everyday people are asking, we're not used to seeing that, that kind of depth 
come out of uh, uh, unadorned man. Um, and so if these people can ask these kinds of questions, it just gives you a peek into a society and a power and a depth that many of us didn't know was there. Um, we have been taught in this Western tradition that these larger questions of uh, uh, where am I in the cosmos, truth, God, all of these kinds of things can only be addressed in Eurocentric kinds of drama. Um, indeed, in that drama, in that literature, these kinds of questions are only asked by royalty. Kings, queens, princes wonder uh, to be or not to be. Not a grave digger. He doesn't do that. In Wilson's world, garbage collectors ask those difficult questions. Bums off the street are, are, are holding on to and, and questioning their place in a reality, you know, and, and trying to define themselves. So it, it gives a kind of a, a power and testimony to everyday man that is self-sustaining. I mean, uh, uh, it's, like, it's like food, these plays, yeah.